Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a get ready with me because I'm going out to lunch with a friend. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I think I wanna try and stick to only high-end makeup products. Um, just so you guys can see some of my favorite high-end products today and maybe I'll do a full face of drugstore products another time. So starting off, I'm gonna take Clarins Instant Poreless Primer. For my foundation, I'm gonna take Lancome's Tente Doll Ultra Wear Foundation and I'm in the shade 210 Buff. This is a little bit dark for me right now, but I always just take um, some concealer and lighten it up and I know in like a month, it's probably gonna be too light for me. So I just went with something that I knew was gonna be a little bit darker. I really like the finish of this foundation. My only problem with it is it's super hard to find your color because they oxidize a lot. When you see it um, in the tubes in the store or even when you do a swatch, at first it can look really light, but after like 30 seconds, it gets really dark. So that is just a really light coverage of that foundation. It layers really well. If you wanted to use it more full coverage, you definitely can. The only category of makeup I don't have a high-end product in is um, concealer. So I'm just gonna use NYX's Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer because it's my favorite right now. And quickly before my concealer dries, I'm just gonna set my face with Kat Von D's Lock It Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. Then I'm just gonna go in with Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna go into Urban Decay's Electric Palette. And to start off, I'm going to take Jilted, which is like the purpley pink color, and put that through the crease. Without blending that out too much, I'm going to go back in and pick up Urban, which is the dark purple color, and put that all over the lid. And then I'm just going to blend those two colors together. If you feel like you lost some of the jilted color, you can go back in and reapply that through the crease. And now we definitely want to soften that up, so I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette and pick up Bono Fresco. <laughs> it's the light purple color, and I'm going to try and transition that purple up to my brow. If you feel like the purple's getting a little bit out of control, like I do, it's good to take some sort of a neutral like lid color just to bring it back down. Once I'm happy with the blending, obviously the outer corners are a little bit messy, but I'm just gonna leave that for now because I'm going to take um, back in the electric palette, I'm going to take Jilted again and run that along the lower lash line and connect it so that it looks a little bit more normal on the outer corners. Okay, and then I'm going to take Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner and do some nice dramatic wings, obviously since the look is so bold. For my eyebrows, again, I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Taupe. And then I'm just gonna set my eyebrows using Benefit's 24 Hour Brow Setter. Okay. 
for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with Lancome's Bronze Soleil Sunkiss Bronzing Powder. For my contour, like always, I'm gonna go into Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and pick up the Cool Toned color. For blush, I'm gonna go into Lee Spachier's Havana Blush Trio, and I think I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna use a mix of these two colors. Then I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and I'm gonna use Pure's Pro Eyelashes in the style, <laughs> Lashes in the Style Bombshell. While I'm letting my lashes dry, I'm gonna highlight with Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. And I'm going to pick up Kitty Cat for all of my face highlighting. And I'm gonna pick up Forever Young for under my brow bone and in the inner corner. For lipstick, I'm going to go in with Tarte's Lip Paint in the shade Birthday Suit. And to finish off the look, I'm going to use Urban Decay's All Night Setting Spray. That is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you want to see a full face of drugstore products and subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.